December 7, 1941, Uncle Harry was listening to the radio. I was at home on Sunset Farm. It was quiet, peaceful, drowsy. War and thoughts of war were far from my mind. Then came the news. We interrupted this broadcast for an announcement. The Japanese had bombed Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Harry at the train station. <laughs> there we go. 
vivacious and captivating young lady. That year we spent a lot of time together. Just before Christmas, I asked Lonnie to take a trip with me to Hartford by train. To my surprise, she accepted. We rode all night. <laughs>
Grandpa Dick and Cynthia, some know her as Boo Boo, came to St. Paul to visit Aunt Lonnie and Uncle Harry and their little buddy on his sick months old. <laughs> Grandpa Dick had an idea of becoming a rancher. And had a desire to be a rancher. So Cynthia and I decided to ask Lonnie and Harry to take care of Ricky while we toured the West for three months looking for a place to settle. Harry, I'm going to go out west with Cynthia, and we're going to try to find a home for her and her son. <laughs> I'm going to probably have to earn a degree in animal husbandry, but uh, I think I'm going into ranch. So that's how Grandpa Dick got into the cattle business. That's where it all began. As time went on, our great-grandmother, Gammy, sold her house in Hartford and went to stay with Aunt Lonnie and Uncle Harry. Yeah. <laughs> Even Uncle Tom came to St. Paul to visit. There were eight people staying in their tiny two-bedroom, one-bath home. It was chaos. <laughs> Thank you, Joyce, for doing everything else. You worked for Burns off. <laughs> <laughs> and we need all you 